Yo, what's up, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Um, like and share my video. Hit that bell notification. Um, yeah. Hit that bell notification when you subscribe. Um, it's got a lot of things on my mind today. A lot of things on my mind, personal stuff, along with what's the what's what's the world going with today. Um. Um, what well, I want to talk about this, I want I want to get back to this Kyrie Irving thing. Um, the double standard that's here in this country. Today is November the ninth, twenty twenty two. Yesterday was a election day, our midterms, and basically the Republicans. As a as of eleven o five, took over the house, and right now we have never heard about the Senate. And we don't know how this is going to be, but but I, I'm afraid for my African American people, my fellow African American black people. I'm, I'm afraid for us. But I'm not. This 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 video is not about that. Okay, it's not about that. Um. Oh, I need a shave. I need a haircut bad. Ooh. But it's not about that. On to my Kyrie Irving. I'm looking at this right here that as of lesser day, November the 8th at 4.53 p.m., Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, had met with Kyrie Irving. The meeting that morning and decided to have a productive and understanding visit paving the way for the Nets and their suspended the star to work through his steps on a potential path forward. Now, they had a list of different things they want Kyrie Irving to do. And one of them is meet with the um, Jewish leaders and pay up $500,000 to charity or whatever it is. Five hundred thousand dollars. When I saw that, I was like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" He makes systematic. He didn't make no systematic statement. He 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 just reposts a movie that was on Amazon, and he got to go through sensitivity training. He got to go through this. He got to go that. He got to do this. He got to do that. Do that. Where's sister training for us? Where's sister training for black people who be discriminating on and deal with racism each and every day? Where is y'all paying a fine or giving a chair to, to one of our charities, African American charity? Where is that at? The double standard is that we look at other people who do something wrong, they apologize, and that's it. Oh, he apologized about it. Brett Favre, Brett Favre stole money. He, he come with some bullshit statement, everything fine. But when a black person do something against a white, Religion or white people, why that? Oh, no, no, this, no, 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 no. He got to go through this. He got to go through that. He have to go through the heavens, the hell, and anything between. He had to go through all that. When I look at people, I don't care what race, I don't care what color you are. When I cut you, we're going to bleed red. We came from the earth and we're going to leave right back to the earth. I look at everyone as my equal. I don't hate on no one. I look at person as my equal. 
That's how I've been raised. That's how I preach to my kids. That's how my, my parents instilled in me and my sister. After I look at what Kyrie Irving got to go through to get back on the team, it angers me. It, it, I'm appalled by it. I'm disgusted about it. Because we don't do that. When, when, when somebody, and I'm sorry, I, I know I always divide the two white people, racist white people, but I got, I got to say the white community. When they disrespect us, or disgrace us, or use us as a tool. We don't get that same thing back. We don't get the same thing back what they try to make Kyrie Irving do. We don't hell the other party accountable for their actions. We don't hear Donald Trump when he make bigot statements, racist statements, or someone that hurt another race. We don't hear him accountable, or he just Donald Trump. They attack him. You give him all the excuses in the world, but you don't hear him accountable. So when... Sarah Silverman did blackface with her apology. Where where were her to be held accountable for doing a blackface? Knowing that it's racist toward us. And I don't want to hear nothing. She did it for so and so and so. That is a no no. No white person should be doing no blackface for no reason because that's discriminated against us as African-American community. So I don't want to hear no damn excuse. Why she's not held accountable. I don't want to hear no more about that. When Don Amis, the Don with Don Amis, whatever the guy name, say nappy-headed hoes. Apologize is going to sweep off, sweep away. When like Brett Farr stole money, where where is he held accountable for him stealing money? When Howard Stern, Howard Stern. Use the N word in a skit. Why he wasn't held accountable. Where did y'all ask him, ask them to donate $500,000? Where was where? When did y'all ask them to do sensitivity training? Where was where did you ask them to meet with the black community, meet with the black leaders, meet with the black caucus? Where where's that at? But when a black man crossed that line. You knocks them down. And I did a couple of videos to say how the hypocrite this country is. Now with the Republican controlled Congress, it's really going to be some bull crap going on. Y'all going to see racism at an all time high now because they not afraid to show they racism. 
It's doing it now. When they apologize, they, when they come with a fake policy, or whatever, the world moves on, everything good, or oh, they apologize, everything is okay, and it's, it's gone. Forget it. He apologized. Oh, you're going back to that. That's what they say. And us as black people, they train our minds. They taught us that's how the world is. That's how everything is. And we accept that. Same way I heard they say the black vote of this midterm was less than what it was for the last two. So that tells me that black people set their ass home and didn't vote. So now you had Republicans took over the House, probably taking over the Senate. And then you can complain about it in two or three months about it, but you sit your ass home because we've been trained. We've been trained. We've been taught. That's a slave mind. That's a slave mind. They tell you that the Democrats take over the economy high. But do you know what? The media fails to tell you that two years ago, or it was six years ago, all of the finance expert, experts predicted this was going to happen. Because when Trump and the Republicans give, redid the tax thing and give the rich people tax cuts, and they told us that the extra money you're going to get it's going to trickle down to the employees of, of giving them better 401k back, form of pension, um, uh, uh, 401k, um, pensions, bonuses. They could do raises. What happened? They took that money and looked the other way. You had some people done it, like Warren Buffett, he done it. But look what the man for you, look, look, look what Amazon did. Look what all these other companies did. They took the money or their tax cut, and look the other way. And we at middle class and lower class pay more taxes than they pay. So the money, when they don't put money back in the economy, all the financial experts say, we're going to go through a recession between four to six years. And we're going through the recession now because, we, because they get all the tax cuts to the wealthy. But what are y'all gonna do? Democrats control you. Blame it on the Democrat. We've been trained that way in Africa. Complete in Africa in in, in the African black. Well, say the black community. They've been they we they so much done train us and have our minds so much in a slave that we sit home like my vote don't count. Forget it. I'm gonna sit home. I ain't voting. That's how they train us. Kyrie Irving apologized. He didn't did it when y'all wanted him to do it, but he apologized. He understand he hurt people. But it was not enough. It was not enough for white America. So they want him to do sensitivity training. They want him to meet with his peoples. They want him to do this and do that. It's never going to be enough for us because they're going to hold us in a double standard. So when white America discriminate against us, bigot against us, put black faces on, call us nappy-headed hoes, call us names, call you monkeys, Killing us, 
doing making laws against against us. There's no apology. If they say I'm sorry or they say you know, fix sorry, oh yeah, yeah, he apologized. You know, get over it. Just want to say something about that because you know you we we, we it's a it's a double standard here in this country. And now because we did set up behind home, we had a low turnout for African American. Um, votes, y'all gonna really see what the double standard really is. Because now we don't basically give them the power to choose that we ever gonna vote again. We know we the only race that got to vote, you had to vote for our right to vote. Not, I mean, we had to, I mean, we the only race that got to have a ballot on there that our right to vote. You see they're making it harder and harder and harder and harder for African American to vote. Just want to say that, man, because I think it's wrong that this man, this young man got to go through so much, so much to get back on the team and play. But when white America do the same thing against us, it, the, the other cheek is turned. I don't know where our black leaders at. We don't have Michael Luther King no more. Michael Max. Jesse Jackson is too old. Al Sharpton want to be on TV. We don't have them black leaders no more. Then if we do get some, they shut you down real quick. Because when a black man get too much power and they cross that line, white America and put them down. Put a comment in the comment section, y'all. I'd like to know what y'all say. Like and share this video. Peace.